Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. So what have we got for you today? Well as you can see we've got a brand new Tamiya kit uh, on the MB01 chassis. So I'll go through that in a minute. But also as you can see I've still got the team associated RC10 40th anniversary edition and it's it's still not built. Um, I really was hoping to get stuck into it uh, last week after I did the uh, the Manta Ray uh, video in the studio. But um, alas, it's still not started. Now, a couple of reasons was I was... Uh, the, part, the rest of the parts came for the Manta Ray. So I wanted to finish that off and have it done. So that is a completed car now. Uh, or what I wanted to do to it. So that I'm awaiting to uh, film that for its uh, second run. Uh, with all the upgraded parts on um and then i thought i was going to just get stuck into this and i thought well this will probably be run a bit more than the uh the clear the clear classic that i've got so i thought i could really do with bearings for it and I, I, at the time I, I couldn't get any and then uh by chance i was rooting around and uh looking for various things online and i came across um a set of bearings for it so i thought right well it'd be stupid not to get them and uh you know build it up with the the, the brass bushings and have to strip in and put bearings in so i thought just hold fire uh, and get the bearings so there we go set of bearings for it which is all good and also while i was at it as well and uh i'll say uh, uh, thanks to uh richard lowe at rlrc um, I was watching Richard's video on the um, his 40th build and he reminded me that from uh, JC Racing, who I use quite a bit anyway, um, had the factory works uh, bel uh, steering bell crank upgrade for the RC10. So I thought, well, while I haven't built it yet, it would make sense to, to get it. So here it is. So from factory works, uh, we've got the RC10 steering upgrade for the bell cranks. So that's going to go on it when I build it at some point. <laughs> and also as well, I've fitted one of these as, uh, also to my uh, classic clear edition, but I've got one as well for the uh, 40th uh, from uh, MHRC. We've got the uh, the nose weights for, for this. So I've got one of them as well. Sits in the front of the chassis and the nose plate, and then the body mount goes on, the front body post goes on top of that. So got one of them as well. Um, so all good. So <laughs> so while I've been sort of getting this stuff together for the RC10 and we will get it built oh, uh, after I've thrown it on the floor. I must admit, I really do want to get that built because I love it. And, I, um, you know, but it just hasn't gone quite to plan. So anyway, this has just dropped as well in the UK. And this is the MB01 chassis, which... I have actually done kind of two of these already, um, but I remember saying to Paul inside line models that I said if you got the DS in, uh, the Citroen DS, then I, I really like that body shell. So, plus it's a bit different, we've not done one before, so I thought yeah, I, I would do it just so I could do the uh, the body shell. So here we are, mb one chassis, uh, Citroen DS, uh, looking forward to getting it done. Now, I have got plans to do something slightly different. Uh, I don't usually, but I won't be going box art again with this. Uh, I was planning to do uh, a, a, like a sort of a rally car type version of it. Um, so th that's sort of my plan. I'm going to turn it into like a, a rally uh, Citroen DS, which uh, Citroen did use to rally these cars as well. So uh, I thought that'd be a bit different rather than just doing it uh, the box art. So, there we go. So, if uh, anyone's wondering why, uh, uh, what DS means for the Citroen, um, in French, and now I am rubbish at speaking French, um, so it's often, DS is often said DS, or DS, I think that's right. Uh, I'm sure you'll be all laughing at me now, because I'm rubbish at French, but uh, the translation for that is goddess. So... This often got referred to as the Citroen DS Goddess, or, or God, the Citroen Goddess, or however you want to say it. But um, I quite like the look of these cars, so 
yeah, I, I think uh, I thought, yeah, I will still, I will build another MBO one, but uh, I'm mainly doing it for the body shell. Now, if you want a more, say, a more in-depth look at the uh, unboxing of one of these, then I'll put the link into the uh, Fiat Arbath um, TC Berlin, of course, the 1000 that I did. Um, that was the first car to be released on the MBO one. So um, I'll put a link to that one. And then we did the BTO one, which is basically like a saloon car uh, version of uh, the MBO one. So and that was with the super body. Yeah, but that's gone now. So uh, what's different on this one? Well, as far as I'm aware, is this is the, the long uh, wheelbase version. The, uh, the other one that was out that shares the long wheelbase is the Opal Cadet. But as far as I'm aware, this is the first MBO one to be front wheel drive. Um, with the motor mounted up at the front as well and also uh, the Citroen is a wide track as well at the front it's got a wider track at the front so I think the all the parts in the box to make it the uh, wider track I did have a quick look at the instructions and uh, that's what it alludes to right, so let's have a quick look so as you can tell I've been looking at it already the manuals there um, so, as I said, I'm going to be uh, doing this as a rally car. So, I've picked up some of the uh, the 60D rally block tyres for the, uh, the M chassis. So, we've got them there. They're the kit uh, wheels and tyres, which are the wheels and tyres. Kit tyres that you often find in a lot of the, uh, the M chassis. Paint wise, as I said, uh, with it being a rally car, I wanted to do a different colour anyway. And we're going to go for PS49, which is sky blue. And it's like a, an anodized aluminium finish. So I think that'll look quite nice on the uh, on this. So we've gone for that. So that'll be fun. Now we'll look at the body in a minute. There. So, again... You get your uh, 1060 base DSC, which is um, which are being produced by Hob um, Hobby Wing. So we get one of them, which I would like to see. Uh, I picked up a set of uh, full bearings for this as well. Uh, well, I picked this up from uh, Inside Line Models earlier today. So I've got a set of bearings for it. I don't like building cars without bearings. Uh, well, you know, a set of bearings for them. So I'm, I'm glad that it was a bit of a, a chance, um, but I, I just had a look through the bearing sets. And they had one in, so I thought, oh, brilliant. So it saves the job. Right, and then you've got your parts trees. So. <laughs> so. Pretty much the same as it was last time. You know, you've got your chassis parts, and then you've got most of the uh, the uh, gearbox uh, case in there. A um, bit of steering, bell cranks, and uh, is that the shock tower mount? Body post mounts as well in there. So that's all in there as well. So that's that one and over there. That's the actual chassis uh, tub or tray in that one there. Now, in most of the uh, what cars you get uh, in the MBO ones, you get this, which is the chassis settings. So uh, it will tell you how to uh, go between uh, the various um, wheel bases and motor positions in the car. Although the, uh, the manual for the DS just give you the correct uh, instructions to build this chassis up, this particular one. What else have we got? Uh, to do with the body. Oh, they look fun. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Um, so in here, I'm going to move that out of the way. Always ever seem to, to run out of stuff. So, again, this will be your metal parts bags. Let's have a quick, uh, quick look through. Get off. Oh, I'm getting stuff everywhere. So, yeah, so you've got stub axles in there and drive shafts. I think they might be, having a look at them, they might be the, uh, the wide, that might be the wide kit for it. Having a look at it, I can't tell properly, but I think that's what the wide kit might be in there. Got your A parts, which is plastic bushings, and stuff for the gearbox, pinion gears, 
grease, stuff like that. B parts, which has got the uh, springs for the uh, friction shocks. Uh, a lot of hardware for screws and stuff and ball joints and step screws in there. T bag, where you've got uh, what you got in there. More screws and ball joints. Um, the, the steering um, tie rod for the steering um, servo to the linkage on the bell crank. You've got a uh, double sided tape and uh, what do you call that stuff? Cable ties. <laughs> what do you call that stuff? Uh, nothing super special. 540 motor cam. I might just probably put this one back in for now uh, to start with. I don't know. I don't think I'm, I'm not sure if I've got any spares of any different types of motors. I'll have to have a look. Um, but yeah, and that's your diff and diff internals there in that one. Servo saver parts and body pins basically. And more double sided tape. And you've got two lots of servo saver parts. Mainly because you need the, um, the little. Um, Pillar balls that go in the wishbones um, on the suspension, that's why you've got two of them. Okay, so as you can see, um, that I've left most of it out, you see it. Body posts, wishbones in there, um, battery retainer, shock parts and um, track rod ends. Okay, so that's pretty much all that stuff there. Now, for the, the stuff that we're more interested in is... Now, I'm not sure if these are the same wheels that are on the Volkswagen Carmen gear, but you've got some little uh, little chrome wheels, M chassis wheels there. Now, I might still go with them anyway. I don't know yet. But I was thinking of getting the 2CV wheels for the um, from the Sand Rally um, car and using them on this as well. I don't know. Um, we'll see, but... We might still go with them yet. So the chrome wheels we've got there. Chrome body and um, trim, which is your rear bumper, your front bumper, and your delight buckets for inside. And uh, so that's all good on there. And this will be the rest of the build. For again, you've got uh, more out drives and gearbox joints, and I think some. Is that just, yeah, in there. And the rest of them is shock towers and the let's have a look shock towers and the steering knuckles as well in there. So that's all your parts really. Now the coolest thing to me and the most interesting thing is this. I love that. That is ace. Um, fortunately, there's no body post holes cut pre-cut in it, but it is marked, so that should be fine. Um, again, with this one, you're only cutting out the front wheel arch because the rear wheels are covered by the body. So that should make uh, doing the body a little easier. Um, I'm saying that I won't be doing this anyway. <laughs> uh, my lovely wife will be cutting this out for me. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the uh, absolutely awesome body shell. And Tammy is still, still are one of the best um, for making body shells. And yeah, I'm really liking that. So I say that's the uh, Citroen DS, or the Goddess there. Shell looks brilliant, really moulded well. You know, to get all those sort of lines and angles, yeah, it looks good. Can't wait to do this one. So there you go. So that's uh, the unboxing, really. Um, what I will do is, I'm not going to go over the parts, but I might just bring get up the. Uh, the camera so you can have a quick uh, a better look at that ds body and uh, the trim and the wheels also there are the decals there window masks at the back so there's a lot of silver trim and black trim it's mainly window surrounds and uh, the chrome roof surrounds and stuff like that so yeah not totally awful but um, again you know not awesome either <laughs> so uh but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll do that so good stuff anyway uh, as i said we'll uh, get the camera over and we'll just have a quick uh quick nosy at the uh, the body parts that at least as well because uh, as i said you all know which is uh what the, what's coming in the mbo one uh chassis now right so anyway um before we have a close-up of this massive thanks to inside line models again and the help is invaluable. So cheers to Paul and the team for uh, getting hold of the DS for us. 
Um, really looking forward to doing this one now. So big up uh, to them. Also, if you haven't, go check them out at www.insidelinemodels.com and you can also get 5% off on their web store using the discount code ANDYRC5. So you can use that code and that will get you 5% off discount of anything in the store. So please do use it and uh, cheers to Inside Line Models for allowing us to uh, give out that discount code. So yeah, massive thanks to them as always. Also as well, um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Much appreciated as always. And thanks to everyone um, for their continued support. Also, come and have a nose here at our Instagram and Facebook pages under Andy Robinson RC. Right, anyway, let's go and get a closer look at that body shot, shall we? Let's try and not knock everything everywhere. Look at that. I love it. In fact, I'm, I'm obscuring it with the uh, chrome body parts, aren't I? Really. Do you want to move it a little bit? There we go. But yeah, I am proper liking that. <laughs> yeah, I think they've done a good job with that. Myself, so well done, Tammy. Okay, there's your wheels. Let's slip them out of the way. And that's all the... Uh, the chrome part trim for the body, like I said, you get the, the front and rear bumpers, uh, light buckets in there, and the, the, obviously the headlamps and stuff. So that's all cool. So there you go. Right, I'm going to leave this one here. Cheers for checking this one out. Look after yourselves and take care, as always, and we'll see you very soon. On the next video and I, I do promise that i will try and get that rc10 uh built as soon as possible um i feel like i'm a bit um out of step anyway now because there's loads of people that have built it and uh, you know unboxed it and whatnot but we will get there I definitely i'm doing it um because i just like it too much <laughs> right anyway uh, take care and we'll see you all very soon bye